The commonest pulmonary lesions uh, you the graduates and uh, undergraduates really need text of our country and then you could typically so you need to know very detail about tuberculosis, then mitotic lesion, consolidation, and cardiac price is in chest. It's very nice. It is very uh, detailed. You have to read. Even then, you need to go through a basic about consolidation. Uh, which will make you to understand other pathologies comfortably. So let's start with consolidation. That will enable you to understand the other things. It is consolidation. And by definition, consolidation refers to the replacement of the alveolar air by fluid or cells. And again, before we go to the pathology of all those things, anything, again, we really need to go to a normal chest extra review again to see this extra chest is giving a nice impression of the two hyla both sides, a spine. Some visibility is impressed here through the cardiac shadow, but you see that the paraspinal gutters are clear here. the cardiac shadow, you see the spine, lateral aspect, clear. And the CP angles, the, the CP angles are leading to an acute angle reaching the lateral chest wall. We uh, don't give diaphragms clearly seen. And again, you see the tracheal lucency along the right paramedian. Here is uh, almost centrally located translucent tube dividing into two parts, two bronchial here. This is aortic nephron so and so the vascularity you can trace like this, the pulmonary artery descending on both sides of the cardiac shadows. The arteries dividing into branches. This is a normal scenario of a normal chest X-ray PAB. You keep in mind of this normal chest X-ray findings very much clearly and preciously so that you can explain that any pathology uh, remaining in the normal field you can predict them nicely. And now we will go for any deaths it is seen in the lung fields not that known and it is when it is abnormal we can see this extra chest here um, diseased patient uh, disabled patient because having the emergency channels here 
consolidation is seen here, and the replacement of the alveolar layer here, you can see it is a wide based lesion, a pyramidal shape and lesion based on the right lateral chest wall bounded by the core fissure inferiorly. So that's why it is sharp in outline. And normal consolidation usually for for segmental or lower distribution very nice. But whenever it is outlined by fissures, it gives an impression of sharp outline. So this is the horizontal fissure or fourth fissure in the right lung. The rest of the consolidation is producing a dense shadow here, but scattered lesions, scattered consolidations are also present here. Not impossible to be present all the lung fields here, but the visible lesion we are going to talk about is the right big right upper lower consolidation bounded by right horizontal Next is again the right upper lower consolidation presented here as a triangular tense opacity bounded by lower fissure. The apex of the pyramid of the triangle is directed to the towards the pylon. And really we are trying to go through the art of study of X-ray here. Again, uh, the thing I said before, the CP angles should return at a similar position it should have an acute angle to touch the lateral chest wall. We say the diaphragm is reaching the left lateral chest wall and produce an acute angle. But what about here? Here is the right hemi diaphragm is not going to make its trouble ended and the light right lateral chest wall is ended a bit before it reaches the right lateral chest wall. There is an obtuse angle here. Let me think if you can explain that. I cannot see well here. I cannot see well here. It's a very much important comment in context of radiology because the normal C you should see when it is upset, you cannot see properly, is really a pathology. So, a consolidation, large consolidation present here, and here is the, the terminology you can use here is the blunting of the right CP angle. The conclusion is uh, made like the consolidation of small bright. The visibly important mentioned objects here should follow, must very carefully go through that. All those things are present here, like a large consolidation, a small effusion, and possibly, probably this patient may have some sort of respiratory distress or even that. There is no maybe a still shift. Very remarkably, you have to note position of the mediastinum, and this mediastinal shifting is not seen in consolidation. Even the fissural lines are maintained in situ. In most of the cases, 
T-shirt, T-shirt, and the long T-shirt retain six anatomical location. So consolidation really a local disease, not deforming the local anatomy of the chest. Very importantly, consolidation does not produce mediastinal shift. Then uh, we will come to know later on that this is how important part of other issues to be declared in chest x-ray. So, again, this, there is uh, something else you practice your eyes in a way that this is the left carrying over to, to place it down to the left hand and this is the right mediastinal border, right arm, and again the right arm should reach the right hand here. But again, the same thing present here, I cannot see well this part of this line is really obscuring the lateral border of the heart. It is obscuring, at least producing some haze that you cannot trace the right career, right border of the cardiac shadow precious. So something else is here present obscuring the right border of the cardiac shadow. And a haze is produced here so that you cannot see the normal angular blackness present in the other parts of the blood plants. Yes, and you may say that there is haze seen in the opposite side of the lungs. Yeah, I do it. But you see. This is a female patient who is having a superimposed soft tissue opacities along the bases of the lungs. And again, these lungs is on both sides are not that symmetrical. And on the left side, despite the opacity, you see the vascular markings running in the lower lung fields are seen well. But what about the right lung field? There is no vascular markings to be seen here. So, the soft tissue shadows producing a common haze on both sides is present. Additionally, the right lower lung field is losing the normal bronchovascular markings. So additional things present here, obscuring the right cardiac border obscuring the normal vascular markings and definitely there is blunting of the right cilindro. The summation is right the lobe consolidation because the middle lobe on the right side and the Lingular lobe, left lung is adjacent to the cardiac border. So, in the consolidation affecting the right middle lobe and the left lingular lobe is obscuring the related right and left cardiac shadow.
the next again there is a density seen in the right right middle lobe i should not say that this is a benign or a malignant condition because i have mentioned earlier that consolidation is an event where the alveolar air is replaced by free door cells orange is also containing cells the pus is containing cells the malignant lesions are containing cells so i am not mentioning really the malignant cell phenomenon whenever you go through this x-ray part of the extra study i uh, ask you to go through in a way that uh, there is a lesion seen here in the right paracardiac region obscuring the right cardiac border this lesion has some irregular outlines, not very definitely impressing you to be a benign lesion. And here is a lesion outside the original one, maybe a satellite lesion or a metastatic one in relation to this niche. But even then we are going through consolidation. So we have to learn a way of studying an X-ray that this irregular lesion has obscured the right paracardiac shadow. So it is a consolidation affecting the right middle pole. The next the right lower lobe has got an opacity here. Again, this is a female patient having some voluminous soft tissue opacities in both lung fields. Look about its symmetry and the vascularity running through the lesion and the sharpness of its lateral margins are well seen. So besides this common soft tissue opacities seen in the both lab fields, what else present? There is a dense opacity Seen in the right lower soul, and is leaving the right cardiac right cardiac border unaffected. So this is a right lower soul consolidation to be performed by the lateral view of the right lateral chest. What is seen here in the middle of consolidation, the consolidated lung will superimpose upon the cardiac shadow because it is intimately adherent or related uh, to the cardiac shadows in uh, right middle of and left in the lung. But here, you see the consolidated lung is obscuring the lower dorsal spine. You know the dorsal spine. I must show you some normal dorsal spine in lateral view later on, inshallah. This uh, spine has got the gradual trend increasing translucency from above down. 
groups. Yes, it is present on that fashion from the upper to lower particles are gradually seen more nicely. So the translucency gets nice up to this way. But later on, again, a triangular shadow is skewing the lower dorsal vertebrae here. So this is a consolidation of the right lower lobe. See, confirmed in the right lateral chest extra. Again, we have to go through this extra in a way that uh, this is a clear film, direct film, clear left line, and this is the Area scattered consolidations are seen in the right lower zone. This right lower zone is not seen as black and this as that on the left one. It is asked to interpret uh, X ray film. Very nicely, you are asked to compare the black piece on both sides, zone by zone. So the upper zones in both sides are showing the similar translucency almost here. The each zone is same impression on both sides. Are similarly irritated, no extra whitish or density present, and the right lower zone compared to the left one. How can I compare the left one? Yes, this part is uh, seen outside the cardiac shadow, and this part is outside the cardiac shadow. This is blacker, but this is not blacker, it's whitish. It will be better cloud like because it is present in the right rooms. Even uh, you can read the, this x ray, one important thing again. I like to remind you that the left paraspinal space seems to be very clear. Well, the same density. There is nothing interfering this density present on the left part of the paraspinal area. So the lower zone has got scattered density present in the right hand field. Uh, that is uh, not seen in the left lung field. Again, we need to go for lateral chest texture of the right lung. The translucency of the dorsal spine is amber here. We can attract the opacity is in increasing the apparently increasing the density of the dorsal spine seen in this lateral view. So it should be blacker than this thing should be blacker. So this is not even blacker, it is whiter. Again, the right lower zone consolidation. This chest is showing the left upper lobe consolidation. This left upper lobe consolidation is 
seen as a loss of translucency seen in the left zone. Again, there is no mediastinal shifting. The knuckle is hardly seen through this lapel. So the consolidation in the left upper zone good here. In this X-ray, we see the left hilum is prominent also. What about the left upper consolidation lateral group? Scattered and district consolidation is bounded by the long fissure, giving this large opacity, triangular opacity in front of the hyena. So this is left upper loop consolidation. There is possibility of uh, left filer extension of a hidden malignancy could not go out. The CP angle probably is the same on both sides, I think, as far as I can see. The CP angles on both sides appear the same. This is a uh, Test text of an old patient, old female, old lady. And, and again, the question of uh, any malignant transformation is to be made in mind. This is a chest x ray seen here. The lung is clear. You see, nothing is seen except the barrier shadow and the palpitation. The CP angles on both sides are seen very nicely, acute, to be terminated at the right lateral and left lateral chest bone. What is here to be mentioned? Can you go through? One thing I mentioned that the paraspinal adders are in the clues to be two. This spine has got a translucent paraspinal adders here. here. This area has got loss of paraspinal and this is the team is reaching the there is a line running through the cardiac shadows reaching the left hand. So something else is present in the left paraspinal area, the left pulmonary, the lower zone obscuring the paraspinal translucency reaching in to the left hemita and noted in the red reaction is that again this translucent C is less less and less scapular shadows are obscuring the real density of the abatoxy spine. These are the dors dorsal spine, the dorsal spine has got a translucency. Could increase its translucency at the lower part, but there is nothing 
present here. To be translucent more than this part. The translucency is increased at the lower dorsal part. So this is the issue seen in the chest x as a retrocardiac capacity. Now it is seen as the lower left lower subconsolidation. Again, this right paraspinal gutter has a translucency. At, there is loss of translucency seen in this retrocardiac area. The lateral view discloses the retro cardiac capacity to be left lower low consolidation. So before we are reaching the other lesions of the chest x-ray, this is the consolidation we need to do. Now we shall try to Conclude the session with whether this elision present in the chest x ray is a consolidation or a press. And we have given a caption here that pulmonary mass collapsed to be a Because most of the lab this relates to collapse as part and effect on mediastina. This together with this needs a comprehensive reading. The regarding the mass in chest x ray, important things to read out. Any local density and architectural abnormality, very esteemed abnormality, any higher abnormality, I have to or you have to go for a university and any diaphragm. To try to understand that whether this lesion seen in the chest chest ray will be a consolidation or a mass. It's the thing really we need to give a decision to the people in relation to the medicine. Very important thing you need to explain your study that whether this is a mass or a consolidation or whatever it is a benign or a malignant patient. So you see that there is a roundish type relation seen in this chest chest really. We can recall that if there is a lesion present in the chest x ray to declare a mass, we need to go through the mass proper and the other things like hyla, emit hyla, medius, tina, and, and the hemidiaphragm, the architectural lab. You know, the city of is still medium density or a reduced density, but we really don't.
and what are the nation for birth there is so the density of the nation is a part you may not get very high density lesion in malignancy rather you may have such medium density lesion you see we have said before that whenever you take care the patient has a proper position you are not here this patient has got proper position but you see the cardiac mass is shifted to a significant amount to the left so there is a mild mediastinal shifting here and again i need to mention you that uh, you must not negotiate any sort of mediastinal shifting Whenever there is a mediastinal shifting present, you must explain yourself that uh, is there any cause, and you have to find out the cause inside, outside, technical, whatever. The, uh, even from the congenital anomaly to the technical aspect, we must explain why there is mediastinal shifting. Uh, Regarding this mediastinal shifting is said about the rotation of the patient, proper positioning of the patient, I have said. My previous lectures were delivered about these things. Yeah, I, I think that you will go through those. And this uh, patient has got a mediastinal shifting. At least some part is there. So, there is a malignant lesion here, and there is a mediastinal shifting here. Probably the left hilar lymphadenopathy is also seen. AB um, hilar. It is really a suprahilar location here. This uh, opacity is from the Lymphatic extension from the diaphragm and both are retained next from the patient. What about the next slide? You see that there is really clear right lung in that nothing is seen in the left chest cavity. It's mostly whitish. There is a cardiac shadow shifted to the left lung field, and the left hemidiaphragm is raised here, and only, only the upper lobe of the left lung is irritated. The trachea and along with the mediastin is grossly shifted to the left. Consequently, consequently, there is hyper inflation of the right leg, seen blacker than usual. You simply you can go through that there is increasing volume of the right leg from the cross. Assumption of the lung field. You see that this is the large lung field from here to here, and you see this is a, a bit depressed lung. Left lung is uh, basically have uh, reduced volume, simply seen. Get these two parts. Because the apex is dropped down. And this is the commonest scenario in a uh, 
with respiratory distress and oh this has been uh, patient whom the total arm collapse and have So this is a scenario. This is another case. Uh, irregular media Irregular opposite is running along these areas, and you see that. Okay, so even a large lesion is running along the paramedial region. You don't see such a large effusion here. Very clear lesion is seen here, uh, with the absence of effusion. So inflammatory con inflammatory conditions, you can think that there is really not running here. What about this? CT uh, scan discloses there is a lesion seen here containing air bronchogram, clear air bronchogram. This is really mass lesion, paramedicinal mass lesion. So any lesion any consolidation or collapse or any lesion, regular or irregular, not uh, paralleling effusion, you must find it that it may be a uh, malignant lesion. Probably we are going to the last slide of the microtech lesion today. This is an old patient, a female. And you see there is an irregular mass. What is the difference between regular and irregular? That when you go through an X-ray, you go a very nice evaluation of the margins, you see that this is Spiculated. Minor spiculations are noted around the margin. So, this is a healthy condition, as you say. And grossly, this is like this piece and this way. Not that very nice, not a circular, not a spherical, oval, definitely outlined nodes. So. so, this is a regular issue seen here. Okay. Left hyalur region. What are association? Yes, marked observation. We must apply that. This patient has got a rightward rotation. Rightward uh, rotation when the expert is the exposure of the X-ray was taken. So, patient could have a rightward BDS deletion because mediastina will not compromise anything whenever you take any sort of movement, any sort of um, pushing or any sort of cracking, it will follow the way. So whenever the patient is ready to the right, you should get the mediastina towards right. But what is happening here? Is it really towards right? The mediastinum should be on right side more than usual. Patient is rotated to the right. And even with this scenario, we are getting the most of the mediastinum on the left side. What is uh, normal? Uh, you can say that this is a normal mediastinum, uh, one third to the left and two to the left. One third to the right and two third to the left of that. 
complete plan. But here, probably there is something on thread here, two thread here, which should not be in this rotated film. So this medias film is really shifted to the left. And this uh, is a chest x-ray, very important in otherwise uh, things that we this left a heavy diaphragm. I should say there is some elevation. I have said that there is only um, 1% chance of the left heavy diaphragm to be elevated compared to the right. But here there is a mediastinal shifting, a mass in the left hilum, obscuring the uh, descending aorta, the left hilum, and the, the aortopulmonary window reading here. Or all those things are obscure, and in conclusion, we can say there is mediastina in the filtration. What is mediastina infiltration? It's the hilar invasion leading to the involvement of other structures in mediastinum, which causes palsy of the phrenic nerve on that side. So this mass we are seeing here outside the cardiac and medicinal shadow is really a stage four malignancy already happened as there is phrenic nerve palsy, meaning that there is mediastinal infiltration. The other thing I want to mention, I must show the slide later with inshallah, that this uh, Fredica policy is a presentation type. The another is the forces of voice. Nothing is present in the chest texture, but only there is higher prominent hilum there and there is left recurrent laryngeal nerve palsy gives rise to a hoarseness of voice. So what you should go for? You must go through a mass with local distortion, higher involvement, variational shifting, and the hemidiaphragmatic position all those three and important things will make you to conclude a decision that whether this is a mess or a consolidation, because the other signs are the all these three things will give you an impression that there is further involvement of the organ structures, local and higher and mediastinal. So thank you for patience hearing. Do you have any question to ask me? I am here to answer.